Reducing maternal deaths is possible. Although Ethiopia is one of the most difficult places to be an expectant mother, it has made great strides in improving its healthcare system over the past decade. On this care learning tour, a diverse delegation of key decision makers and advocates took off to learn more about the work being done to reduce maternal deaths. Congressman Aaron Schock of Illinois. Well, I think the information that we gain on these trips is so important because it puts things in perspective. Congresswoman Lara Richardson of California. I look at the foreign aid budget that's coming over. This will encourage me to see that the money is going to good use. Deb Derrick of the Gates Foundation. Ethiopia is absolutely at the front of the world in terms of its investments in maternal and child health. Um, it's trying to pave the way and show the rest of the world how it can achieve the Millennium Development Goals with respect to maternal mortality in particular, which is one of the hardest objectives to meet in global health. Care Maternal Health Advocate Christy Turlington Burns, Ambassador Mark Dybel, and Jenna Bush Hager were led by CARES President and CEO, Dr. Helene Gale. It's an opportunity to be able to bring policymakers and, and people uh, who can give voice to the issues in countries like Ethiopia and go back and really be real advocates. The Ethiopian government has invested in the training and deployment of more than 30,000 community health workers, called health extension workers, who provide basic health services for families in remote areas throughout the country. These community health workers or health extension workers are included in the former health system and they will be paid by the government. So they are part of the health system. We set a vision of making this program the pillar of our health system. Next, the delegation met with health extension worker and trainer, Sahin Aboyi. The learning tour delegation then visited a program called Baru Tesva, meaning Bright Future, which provides basic services such as education and health information to vulnerable urban girls, many of whom have led arranged early marriages. Many of them come from uh, very rural areas of Ethiopia. They come either escaping hardships in their rural areas or often escaping early marriage. Since it began in 2006, this program has reached over 15,000 girls. Thank you. An early flight brought the delegation in our east to Deri Dawa, a small town in West Harare Zone. After a two-hour car ride, they arrived at the Hadis Health Post, where CARES Results Initiative is being implemented. Here in Hadis, most people are engaged in farming activities, and uh, Hadis is one of chronically food insecure areas. It's really important for policymakers and the states to come and see the issues and how their decision really makes a difference. Marisa, CARES project manager at Hadis, explained how his team has built up trust within the community to openly discuss family planning. You know, when we talk about family planning, it is around uh, 10 or more than 10 years CARE has been working in family planning around here. Ethiopia is one of the po populous countries in Africa, and the fertility is high. And family planning is one of the major uh, activities that can bring us, you know, to have contribution toward reducing poverty. Uh, in case of CARE, we are interested to reduce poverty and social injustice. CARE's work is, is really incredible here. I wanted to learn more about the issues of maternal health. I've mainly worked in HIV AIDS and education. It's been really interesting to learn about maternal health and of course all, as CARE advocates and, and other organizations, all of the different issues relate. to put things in individual projects. So a project for HIV, a project for malaria, a project for maternal health, a project for immunization. That's not how people live. That's not how this community lives. And those projects tend to be short term. And what CARE is trying to do is look at the long term. From the Haddis Health Post, the delegation traveled another hour along a bumpy dirt road to Doba Health Center, a facility that accepts referrals from smaller health posts like Haddis. 
including uh, vaccination for I learned today that 85% of the people live out in the rural area. Um, it's very important to have that support. Day three began with a visit to the Dil Chor Hospital in Deri Dawa, which provides emergency obstetric care for the entire West Harare zone. Ethiopian mother usually deliver at home, and hence our maternal mortality is very high. It's about like two mothers dying of labor and pregnancy every hour of every day. All of these complications are preventable. Later that afternoon, the group met with the Minister of Health, Dr. Tedros, to talk about the government strategies to reach Millennium Development Goal 5, improving maternal health by 2015. To come and to see, and to see things that are hopeful and that are working, take one person back from an experience like that and the, the ripple effect of, of what you see and, and the hope that you have um, gets spread to the next person. We've really seen an incredible amount that we will all take back, and that's what this whole tour is about, is people learning so that they can go back, be even better advocates, and make sure that people back in our country understand these issues, understand the problems, but also understand that there are truly solutions and things that we can do about it.